Very good girl. Wait. Good girl. Good girl. My name is Sharon Rees. I'm 52. I have three Staffordshire Bull Terriers and I live with my partner. I was a teacher. I did a degree in English Lit and Media Studies. I did a Bachelor of Education. And now I run my own business, Deputy Dog Daycare and Grooming. This is one of the best decisions I've ever made. I went for my interview in the school I was in for 14 years and forgot to put my shoes on, had my slippers on. But I still got the job, so obviously uh, <laughs> that was okay. And I was head of PE in the school as well, so I was a big part of the athletics committee. I loved the athletic side of it, I loved the cross country, I loved all the sports side. I used to run the rounders team. I, I, I absolutely adored that, but the worst part was leaving teaching. Just school was changing. Everything was down to curriculum. You weren't allowed to do anything. Everything had to, you know, ticking boxes. And I just, I just had enough, really, of all the politics. But never really had the opportunity to do it. And because I was in teaching, and everyone said to me, you know, you can't leave teaching. You, you're good. You're on a good wage. You, you know, you're a teacher. You, you can't do that. And I just thought, no, life's too short. Let's have a go of it. Let's just have a try. To the start of my day. I wake up at half past five. I start picking dogs up at five to six. Sometimes it's two or three dogs I pick up, up to five or six dogs. I get here by 10 to seven. I then obviously fill all the water bowls, make sure the new disinfectant is all clean. And then the dogs start arriving. Customers love a little chat in the morning, as we all do. And they all wanna know that their babies are gonna be safe all day, their fur babies as they drop them off. And yeah, they play all day. They have tug toys to play with, balls, tunnels, slides. My business just thrived on who I knew, really. And my reviews on the internet just went from strength to strength. And people loved I cared, at all. When I set the business up, other doggy daycares actually got quite nasty to me and jealous because I'd set the business up and because I did such a success so quickly that I had, um, yeah, had a lot of nasty comments on Facebook. The second week we were here, somebody broke in and stole my, all my grooming stuff, all my scissors, my clippers, my hairdryer, everything. And I was absolutely gutted, absolutely gutted. And so upset just to think that I'd worked so hard and somebody would come in and just taken the lot, which would be sold on Facebook or for, you know, pennies. Luckily I did have insurance but they didn't make it easy and I couldn't claim for a lot of the things. But never mind, you know, everyone say, brush it off, you know, put it up to experience and just get on with it. But I was, I was so upset and I was gutted, you know. Before lockdown, my business was actually thriving. I was having 20 dogs a day. I had two to three members of staff, two full-time and one part-time. And then when lockdown happened, obviously, the first lockdown, we were closed completely. And then the second lockdown, I was allowed to stay open and my numbers are still relatively low because everyone's working from home. But my customers are so loyal that they still come to me once or twice a week. Like I say, I enjoyed my teaching job, but I will say it's never too late to change your career path. Yeah, it's a risk, but don't, don't ever let you put you off because it, it, it really is never too late to change whichever way you want to go. I don't know. Dogs versus children. I don't think it's much different. I gotta say, they all make a mess <laughs> and they're all noisy. <laughs>